Yo, what is up, everybody? It's a dude, it's a rebel, it's a gas that's next level. It's your boy, Ken the Sergeant, aka 1192. What is up? And welcome, everybody, to another Key Clip episode. This here is Key Clip number 82, season 2, episode 7. Yes, 7 episodes. We got 3 more to hit 10, and hopefully, I will be doing something really big on that day, um, 85. So, <clears throat> for the recap today, we basically looked over the Atari Lynx, which I think is a brick of a handheld console. I mean, that thing is huge. Like huge than a huge than a Game Boy plus a maybe a color for all that matter, and also somewhat close in size to a Game Gear, you know. And they also take the same amount of batteries. And of course, I think the I think the Atari Lynx drains more like than an instance. So, anyways, for today's key clip, uh, this here is a really unique. This is a really unique console. Um, some I did not know they made they made it like this, but I am familiar with the company now. Home arcades is the best way to go. But sometimes you want to play it on a road? Easy. Have a Neo Geo Pocket. Arcades now in the palm of your hand is way awesome. <laughs> so, this here is a Neo Geo Pocket by the brand of SK, a another big time brand. So, he had what? Yeah, Sega, Nintendo, uh, your PlayStation at the time, and now you got a, another company, SK. Or no, wait, PlayStation and Sony, different. This here, um, first off, the if you, anybody's familiar with the Neo, Neo Geo, the home console, that's actually supposed to be a um, a big arcade. And it's like, it's really cool. You know, I was, it was really expensive. Uh, there's some familiar games. There was, uh, if I can know, there was Samurai Showdown. There was Metal Slug. There was a, uh, I think it was a couple of, I think it was a bust. I want to say there was a bust move. I'm not really sure. But, you know, it, consi it consisted of, you know, uh, like, arcade-style gaming. From the graphics to the controls and stuff. The controller was a complete game stick with four buttons. You know, that's how they always did back then. Um, oh, also, I forgot there was a, I think, King, yeah, King of, Mo King of the Monsters back then in that one, too. But this one is completely different. Uh, it's a handheld version. It has your, uh, the D-pad, this is actually kind of cool. I would actually consider this. Uh, it's kind of like a, if you got to see it better, it's kind of like a small disc and kind of goes in like that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, has your original two buttons. You have the A and the B. Now the option button, that's basically the pause button. And then that's your power. And of course, that's the light indicator. And only one amplifier. On the back, that's where the cartridge goes. Do not know what that goes to. Two bar It runs by two batteries. And it has to run by, uh, a disky battery. I don't know what that's for, but, uh. When we turn it when we turn it on, uh, it's gonna say sub battery dead or something. But anyways, the console itself, this is pretty unique. Pretty nice size, pretty pretty light too. Kind of resemble kind of resembles a, a a miniature tiger game con, if y'all are familiar with that. Um uh, this actually plays good graphics in games. I know I got two of them, I will be doing that in the next couple key clips. Uh, but I happen to buy this one in a at a store known as Prestige Electronics is down in the St. Louis, not St. Louis area, down in the Bridgeton area where I live at. Y'all should go up to it. I'll probably uh, talk to that guy, see if I can do an interview with him. Uh, yeah, so, this, like I said, I never really, I was familiar with Neo Geo as far as, you know, like a couple years ago, but I had not seen a Neo Geo Pocket. This is, like I said, pretty nice console, pretty nice concept. The graphics, they are unique. They're kind of, I want to maybe say a little bit better than a Game Boy Color. And maybe I was going to say Game Boy Advance, but that's kind of different in bits. But yeah, way, way better than a Game Boy Color. Uh, from the colors to the sound chipping, uh, this is great. Um, also, when we turn this on, even without a cartridge in here, this has its own menu. Now, just like the DS and PSP, they have their own menus too. This one is actually, uh, I'm probably say the first one that had it. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah, it's Neo Geo, so kind of like a Tiger Game Con has its own mini too, but that's kind of different. But then, but with this one, it's way different. So, what I'll show y'all what it's all about. All right, here we go with the Neo Geo Pocket. Yeah, sub battery dead. It's a a small disky one, but we'll try to get that fixed later, hopefully. So right here, this is the Pocket Menu. You got your calendar. You got to press A for this. You got the calendar, you know, to keep up with your dates. You also have a horoscope, which is pretty awesome. And let's see if I can get my date right. 
Okay. And I'm a complete 90s kid. 92. Libra. Let's go. So I think I'm pretty bit normal. I'm pretty bit balanced. Okay. Then you got your world time. You know, check out the different areas of what time they are. So this is New York. Let's try some right at that time. You got your alarm so you can set up when you, uh, if say you take a nap and you wake up on time. Set that. And then of course the settings are right here. Set it to English. English, yes. You can also change the background color. I kind of like the, I'll say between classic and black and white, but I'm going to go with the classic on it. And we already got the time and date set. And pow. So that's basically the whole part of the, that's the menu section. And then of course to turn it off, he's got to hold the power button again. And we're done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the miniature Neo Geo system, and also, also known as the Neo Geo Pockets. Once again, still great. If you guys happen to run into this, buy it. Because I bought this one for I bought this one for a good price, plus a game. Love it. So, <clears throat> that will be the end of key clip number 82. Y'all going to stay tuned, hopefully, for 83. Uh, before I go, y'all know how it goes like this. Like and comment on this video. Also, subscribe to me on the bottom or on the top, wherever the link is. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm Keenan Sargent or Facebook.com slash Dude 1192. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter, Dude 1192 right there. Same name. Till next time, 803 will be coming up soon. And I'll see you when I see y'all. Stay awesome. Peace.